Hey, hey, what's up, guys, gamers, and traders? Squirrely here. Thank you so much for joining me as always. I didn't think I would have to make this video, but now I don't think I have a choice. I don't think I can wait any longer. A lot of you know me, or if you don't know me, I've been talking about trading videos, making profit, whether it's low tier, high tier, Steam community market money, uh, high tier unusual, spelled items. I've pretty much talked about it all. I've made videos on it. I've shared a lot of my best tips and practices on how to make money and trade in the TF2 universe, TF2 economy, and I've been around for so long, I had to kind of realize that a lot of people do come to me for advice, and I should probably give my opinion on this topic of trading and the future of trading, more particularly in the year 2020, because there is so much uncertainty out there in the world, world and fear and panic, and it's understandable, and that trickles down into the online space. People have been watching my videos and asking me, I heard you cashed out your dream set, I heard you're buying stocks, I heard this, and should I quick sell my hat, or should I cash out a TF2, or is trading dying? There's kind of just this underlying fear and uncertainty, no one really knows what to do. So I'm just going to give you to you guys, collect my thoughts, tell you what I think is going to happen in 2020, and maybe slowly after that. But there's definitely always a way to capitalize. So I'm also going to give you, you know, how long do I think this might last? But what does this mean for us as traders, as players? What's the good? What's the bad? So first thing I'm going to start off is that it's actually good for overall Steam and for TF2's player base. We saw here, I'll open up the Steam charts. Um, the, the, the Steam player base kind of fluctuate, especially for TF2. We've had some years where we're up really high. Like December of 2019, we hit a peak of 103,000, which is phenomenal. Uh, 2020s hasn't been that bad. You can see we had just under 80,000. But we're more creeping up to, you can see after February, well over 80,000, 85,000, 88,000. As of right now, looking at this video, we're about 85,000 peak players. But we get anywhere of a range. In my mind, anything over 80,000 is pretty good for TF2. That's great. Obviously, I'd like to see 90,000, 100,000. That would be awesome. But I'm bringing this up because it's just a good time to be playing in general because servers are full. You know, aside from the whole cheater situation, you know, which most servers are pretty good. They'll vote kick the cheaters or you just queue for your new map. It's pretty fast to get into a game. It's pretty easy to play with your friends. I haven't had any issues myself really connecting to games, even really, really late at night with parties, which is usually when it's hardest to find a game. So player base is up, which is great. But as far as for trading, it's a little bit different. I'm going to show you guys the numbers because the numbers do tell a story and they show a trend. So one thing we can assume is that since TF2 has not had an update in quite a while, any trends or differences we're seeing, any patterns, are pretty much going to come from supply and demand. That's it. It's not anything new. There's been no big changes, no patches, no tweaks, updates, anything like that. So anything we see in the numbers is coming just from the people and their natural trend, you know, whatever habits that are occurring naturally with, I guess you could say, the organic trends that are happening within the trading community. So let's take a look at that and talk about each individual one. Let's start off by taking a snapshot of the lower tier world, the lower to mid tier trading. And a great tool we can use is looking at refined metal. So refined metal is a great tool to use because this is people buying, you know, craft hats, buying uh, keys for refined metal, trading lower tier items, strangers, tour duty tickets, whatever. So this will show us how things are going, what trends are changing for the lower tier world of the TF2 economy. So I'm just going to open up marketplace.tf here. You can see the price right now is currently four cents. There's about, uh, you know, 11.5 for sale, 11,500. Uh, down here, it's been four cents the whole time flat. So that looks like nothing's happening. But look below that for the numbers sold. So this is the demand. The supply might not be changing, but you can definitely see an uptrend here in the demand. Because down here, we're having, you know, under 3,000, under 4,000 around there. Now we're getting up over seven, 8,000. Right here, a big day, over 10,000. Uh, and it's kind of been bouncing around in there from the six to 8,000 range, but definitely an uptrend from the bottom to the top. So you can say lower tier traders or people using refined metal are definitely having a, a demand increase. Let's take it to a more expensive item like the Bills hat here. This is a cheaper multi-class hat. It's been out for a long time. It's pretty popular. It's something that most traders work their way up to to get their first kind of nicer all-class hat. You can see on here as well, the price has been pretty stable. You can see 328 and at the very top right here, 3.9. So it's under $4. So it's been a small increase as far as price. But look at the supply, or excuse me, look at the number sold. This has been about the same though. I mean, it's definitely been choppy. You could say maybe there's a slight increase. But the price has gone up a little bit, but not so much the number sold. And if you wanted another example, because maybe you don't use Marketplace.tf, Steam Community Market is another great way to look at price trends. So you can see on here, Bill Sass, I'm going to scroll down, and you can just see visually it's pretty much flat. 4.6, you can see the number sold has you know been anywhere from 1 to 3, 1 to 4, 1 to 5, all the way down to the end. You know, and actually it's been dropping a little bit, so 4.6 more recent sales on here. So I would say it's pretty much flat. It's been pretty much a wash. Let's take a look at Tory Duty tickets because I think this is also a good example. Are more people playing MVM or trading lower tier, similar to refined metal? You can see on Marketplace, we have it at 87 cents. There's 9,600 for sale. If you scroll down here, you can see the median price, the top one, has been pretty similar. Maybe a small uptrend overall, but not a whole lot. It definitely peaked right here, you know, well over 1,000 
uh, well over a dollar down here you can see for the number sold has been very very choppy kind of all over the place but generally it's i would say it's pretty flat it's maybe gone up slightly steam community market as well let me scroll down here you can see these are always more than a dollar for the most part which is kind of crazy uh, but over the past month you can see it's been you know let's look at the number sold it doesn't look like there's been a big jump there's been a couple of days uh obviously the price has gone up since may which could be you know more of a demand but it doesn't look like there's more being sold it could just be the supply same thing, there's less for sale, people buy them up quickly, and then they have to pay a little bit more, but this is not a big jump, you know, six to like $1.09 is not a big deal, there's actually less being sold more recently, so marketplace.tf, there's under 100 for sale, right now there's one for $5.67, let's look at the median price first, up top here, you can see just under $6, under $6, right here, there's a big jump, I don't remember exactly what happened there, but uh, for a short period of time, a couple of them are sold for quite a bit more, then it went back down under $6. So this would pretty much be flat to me or maybe even a downtrend. You can see over here, this is under $6. And down here, there's more being sold under 6 for sure. So maybe a slight downtrend if not flat. But number of sold has also been completely flat. Let's try to confirm this on Steam Community Market. And you can see pretty much flat across the board over the last month. Um, so some of them will be a little more expensive for sales. But it's usually like one or two. It's not like consistently. So these have been just over $7.00. Down here, you can see it's just under $6, around $7 as well. So I will say earbuds haven't changed in price. They might go up a couple refined or something, but it's not like a dollar or two more on a regular basis. Last but not least, we're going to look at keys because I think this item will single-handedly make the biggest difference with trading in this year and going forward because I've definitely seen a big trend, an uptrend, and keys being bought and the price of keys in general. On Marketplace.tf, right now they're $1.85. There's about 5,500 available. This fluctuates a lot. Sometimes there's like 12,000 for sale. Sometimes it's under 3,000 for sale. But the price in general, what I've noticed, I'll take you down here, is it's gone up steadily. So you can see $1.77, uh, well under $1.70 for a while. Then it went back up. We're going to creep up here. You can see it's finally creeping over $1.80. And there's been times it's been over $1.90. And now we've kind of settled at a place where there's days where I will check this and the cheapest key is like $1.92. It's like, what? Keys have always been cheaper on here. Usually $1.70, $1.75, sometimes a little bit lower. But they've kind of found this balance where they're anywhere from $1.85 to $1.90. And you can also see on the number sold, the second level, look at this numbers. Definitely an increase, an uptrend. You can start down here from you know 0 0.6 and it's jumping all the way over here to just under 8,000 on average. Some of these days are very big days, 9,000. Definitely this day right here, over 10,000 was at 11,000 sold in a day. So keys have had the biggest impact and have been affected the most by this change, I think. And that's one of the main upsides right now. It is a great time to cash out because there's more traders. It's going to be easier to find buyers. It's going to be easier to sell your stuff. I've been selling things in the same community market. I'm always selling things on there, but I've had a couple items where I literally bought it and listed it and it was sold like in two hours for a price. I was like way more than I was expecting to get for it. I'm like, whoa. And it just is probably because there's more people trading and playing and being on Steam in general. So that's great. It's a great time to be a seller right now. It's a little bit tough and tricky for buying things for cash, but great time to cash out because keys cost more. So you're going to get more bang for your buck for selling your keys. Like I said, it's easier to sell stuff right now. There's more people, there are more eyeballs. So if you have any really tough to sell items that you've been struggling with, really push them out, like push them out there, advertise them, do what you can do. Cause this might be the best time to sell some of your harder to sell items. Not only is it a great time to sell your items for real cash, but also to sell your items for virtual cash on Steam Community Market. I have a couple of videos on this, a lot of success stories from other people in comments. Thank you guys for sharing those with me saying, you know, I had $5 on there and I have $50 and I made my first big sale and I made $150. And so it's been great. It's a whole other world of free money and free profit because you're using Valve money to make more money on top of other Valve money. And so it takes very little investment to get started, but it's a great time because there's more eyeballs. You can sell things easier so you can build up kind of your treasure chest of money money on there and wait for a really good deal because there's more sellers but there's also more buyers so although it might be you know there's more people selling your individual hat there's more buyers out there so it could be easier to sell something on the same community market some of the negatives that could come from these new changes and trends is that since it is more expensive to buy keys like i said there might be less people willing to buy keys and eventually we'll see a peak maybe keys get up to a dollar 95 two dollars and they start to bottom out or maybe it fluctuates for you know within a wide range and it comes back down we don't really know, but there eventually there will come a point where people say it costs too much. I'm not going to box and things will kind of stagnate. So hopefully then there's enough things circulating in the economy that it doesn't really matter, but there's always going to come a point where something just costs too much. So overall, I will say trading and TF2 in general in 2020 
is looking pretty good. There's more upsides and downsides, I think. More players, more eyeballs, more buyers, more sellers, more people playing TF2 in general. I mean, things are going pretty well. Honestly, aside from the fact that there's cheater bots joining servers and you got to vote kick them, everything else is going pretty good. It's easy to find a server. It's easy to find things for sale. There's more deals out there, it looks like. It's easier for me to sell things. I have more people reach out to me to, to buy items that hadn't gotten a lot of attention. So it seems like everything's going pretty well for the most part. And the trend for 2020 might be a pretty good one. If keys bottom out in price and they start to dip down, that's great. If they don't, it's only really going to affect people who buy keys for cash and everyone else can kind of just chill and enjoy themselves. The only thing I wish that would change for 2020, of course, is for Valve to do an update. And it's not for what you think. It's not because, you know, Valve was horrible and the devs are lazy and whatever. And there's a lot of negative news. I think Kevin Hart said it that it's not cool to be positive anymore. For some reason, it's just fun to complain and people like to complain and jump on the bandwagon. I don't want an update just to say there's an update to make it feel like TF2 is relevant. I don't care if TF2 is quote unquote relevant or not. I just care how the game plays. I don't care how many updates it gets. But I would love Valve to release an update, not only for us to get some new content and some new stuff for the players, in this community but for them because now they have the incentive so many companies are releasing movies early games early you know having coupons and having big sales because there's so many more people playing online so valve if you're listening this is the best time to release an update any update i don't even care if it's just community hats or new weapons or whatever it's new skins just any update this is the great time to do it you will make more we will make more like it's just win-win for everyone there's no excuse not to hopefully you know they have a major update come out if there's a large summer update or even a smallish summer update i will be thrilled i don't even care what it is honestly as long as there's something but if we have to wait until the end of the year scream fortress and christmas then whatever i guess we have to do that but i think now is a great time to capitalize it i mean it's, it's a tough situation for a lot of people but best case is that if you're stuck at home playing video games you might as well release an update and make some more money all right, Cameron, well, thank you so much for joining me. As always, I could talk about this stuff forever because I think this is very interesting. I've been looking at lots of different business models and what they're doing with the whole pandemic going forward. And definitely it's interesting to see what's going on with TF2 and virtual economies and trading as well. But I'm curious, I'd like to hear from you guys now, what habits and what things are you doing regarding trading or playing in general that have changed? Or are you planning to change? Are you going to sell some items more? Are you going to sit back more? Are you going to cash out? I know I've talked in previous videos about myself cashing out a good amount of items to buy stocks. A couple months ago, I loaded up on stocks when things are really low and we've bounced back pretty far. The stock market in the U.S. has bounced back a lot. So now I'm just sitting. I'm just chilling. Same with TF2 trading. I'm not buying anything. I'm just sitting back. I'm just chilling, waiting for things to drop again if they ever do drop. So um, that's what I'm doing. But I'd like to hear from you guys. And what are you doing while you're stuck at home, hopefully playing more TF2 and trading? Once again, thank you guys for the support. We are creeping up on 20,000 subscribers, which is awesome. Definitely don't forget down below to join the Steam group because I want to do a big giveaway and celebrate with you guys and give back. And uh, yeah, if you like my content, consider subscribing, share with your friends, learn about trading, making money, and watch some sick frags in the background. And hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.